Welcome to another wonderful episode of Foodies and Spice. My name is Najina, of course. So, very easy recipe now they bring today. Time for you to go call your friends and neighbors because this recipe we I want to do now, one of the easiest, like very easy recipes when we grow. If um, our mama won't come up for house, they just say, oh yeah, then I make yam porridge. It's quite easy. So, I think I'll be doing this specially for all the kids who are learning how to cook. You can quickly learn how to do this when mommy is going out to the market or to meeting or to work. You can learn this. So, time for you to call all your teenagers in the house, your children, everybody, gather your full family. Foodies and Spices is about to start. Welcome back! Yes, I tell you now today it's in a very easy recipe and for this recipe we they use yam. And I said specially I want you to teach most of our children where just they grow, like the teenagers. If you don't they enter 11, 12, you're supposed to start cooking, yeah? Cooking my first meals within that um, age, so it should be easy for you guys to learn how to make yam. Yam porridge. It's easy. There's yam like everywhere in Nigeria. You can find yam. It's cheaper up north, um, a little bit more um, expensive down south, but at least it's still affordable for you to make. It's something you can eat for lunch or dinner, sometimes even breakfast. So what I have here for this wonderful, easy, um, yeah, easy yam porridge filled with all the nutrients today is yam. Of course, my yam porridge, so we'll get yam. I have um, ubu leaves, any vegetable can work just to add some folate into the, I remember my folate some weeks back, yes, add some folate into the porridge. I have onion, the neighbor disturber. Anytime we onion fi enter that food, I can't miss it. I love onion. Pepper for the hot, sexy spiciness. If you know they too like pepper, you put on small. If you like pepper, where well, you put them as much as your taste, go fit, take them, okay? I always say pepper to your taste. Tomatoes. I get bell pepper, my bell pepper today, they frozen. Yeah, and I'm a bit attaché. To add some swag into this yam porridge, I get um, crayfish, I get palm oil. Palm oil goes well with um, yam porridge. But just in case, hey, you day outside Nigeria and you cannot get uh, palm oil, you can always use things like adon soya bean oil or any oil you find around. Once you put your attaché, you put your onions and your pepper, it go red. Yeah. So, but I have this palm oil here just to give it that traditional feel of yam porridge. Uh, who else? Salt, seasoning to your taste, and I get fish. Now, I have this little trick that I shared on social media. If you're not following me on social media, www.youtube.com slash Gina is where you watch all my videos. On IG at Gina Foodies and Spice, Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Foodies Spice. Now, if you're not following me, please do, because I share some cooking tips and tricks there. Also, I shared it some days ago, how to fry your fish without it busting or splashing. Yeah, so I'm going to show you that trick today and I'll be frying this fish with a wonderful, no cholesterol, soybean oil, adan soybean oil, okay? So that's it, let's start cooking. First things first, peel the yam. Alright guys, so I said I'm teaching the teenagers today and the kids who want to learn how to cook. Okay, so you can either peel yam like this, be careful with knife and your hands. Yeah, so you either peel like this or you cut the yam into round circles like this. Now, if you cut into round circles, you just need to peel like this. 
Make sure your fingers are somewhat safe away from the, the knife. So this is it. So I'm going to do that and put everything into this bowl of water to wash it. Now something else you can do, yeah, if you are scared for your hands, after cutting in circles, you can put it on a chopping board and just use your knife, go in circles, opposite your fingers, like away from your fingers, you just cut in circles, can you see? You feel safe. So for porridge, you cannot put the yam whole like this. You have to cut it very tiny so it will cook very quickly. Once, it's, once you cut it in two cubes, it doesn't take time at all. Now this is where we now begin to um, debate. Is it yam porridge or is it yam pottage? So I will expect you to come to our online platforms. You can see it on the screen. And let me know if it's yam porridge or if it's yam pottage. Or what will I call it today? Yam porridge or pottage, anything you guys want to call it, okay? So this is it. You have to cut this tiny so it can quickly melt while it's cooking and give it that porridge or pottage look. So I've rinsed the yam, I'm going to set it aside. And the next thing I want to do now is to cut my fish and show you that little trick of frying fish without it splashing or bursting too much. Yeah. Now because of the experiment, I'm going to cut, I'm going to add the head of the fish yeah so we can do this experiment together okay so you wash the fish you have to remove the guts From the head also, you open the gill here and here. And get this out. Now you have to be very careful because fish blood smells very bad. So immediately you get everything in the gut out. The next thing you want to do is to discard it far away because in an hour or two your whole kitchen will be smelling really bad. Okay, so fish cleaned. I told you I wanted to teach you how to fry fish without you jumping and hopping and running away from the kitchen. Yes, it's quite easy. So for my teenagers, my young ones, um, don't run away. It's something that you can do. Now, just tell mommy to get you flour. So you take your salt, you season your fish. You take that same salt and season the flour. You may want to add one seasoning cube yeah, to season the flour. And you mix. Now after that mixture, you take your fish and you rub the flour on it. Rub the flour on it. Rub this here. Take your other fish. Now, I said this is going to help make sure it's not splashing so loud or bursting, making you run away from the kitchen. Funny enough, even after doing this, you can still add your fish into your stew, your soup, anything you want to add it in. So this works. 
flour won't spoil the soup or stew or anything. It doesn't spoil it. It might just make it a bit thicker. And the head of fish, the one that makes you jump. Yeah. So you know, the day I, I posted it online, some people gave different things they do. They talk about washing the fish, then they go and dry it outside first before um, coming to fry the fish. All those ones are not too much long thing, yeah? Just take your flour, okay? The time that you used to dry outside before you fry the fish. So this is just very easy. It's not like you're mixing, the, you're not making fish in butter, no. You're just um, rubbing it on the fish. I think this just contains the uh, moisture on the, in the fish. The thing that makes it jump, it contains the moisture. So this is it, this is good. We'll start frying now. Okay, so Adan oil. That's what we want to use to fry our fish today, yeah? Um, Adan oil, no cholesterol, good for your heart, uh, delicate flavor, I told you about that. It doesn't really interfere with anything you are cooking. If you want fried fish, now fish will come out. Come say the fish go this scent like something else. If you use that fried chicken, now chicken will come out, you know, go scent like something else. So, Adan oil, we are using it to fry our fish today. That should be good. So we have oil in our fry pan. I have my fish all powdered in flour. <laughs> so you see, it's as easy as this. So we're hoping for it not to do poo, pa, 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 po, 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 okay? All right, so now I'm going to turn the fish. You can see that it's quite contained. not busting and jumping yeah even while we have the head of fish here another thing the flour does for you is that your fish will not break it kind of holds the fish together so it won't break so this is good so while this is happening I will just quickly blend my tomatoes pepper onions tatashe together for the yam okay yeah so fish is ready Brown both sides, cook both sides for two, three minutes and your fish is ready. Okay, so fish frying made easy. See you. Fresh pepper to your taste, tomatoes, one medium sized bulb of onion. All right, so tomatoes, pepper, onion, satache ready. Now I want to fry the pepper mix, but you know, this time I'm frying it with palm oil. I I told you already that it is traditional to cook porridge or pottage, yam pottage, porridge, with palm oil. So I'm using palm oil now. Now we are going to get our fish to rest inside the oven. We will call it back where we need it. So frying time with palm oil. So I'll add the palm oil. This is about two cooking spoons, so two and a half. A little bit of salt. So I'll just allow this fry for a bit. Set it aside before I boil the yam. All right, guys. So 
what I'm just trying to achieve is just to make this um, sauce dry out a bit. This looks good. At this point, I'll add seasoning cubes. So I'm putting about um, three cups first. If it's not enough, I'll add more. So I'll send in the yam. Don't forget, I have my crayfish. And the next thing that goes in is my onion, tomato, pepper mix. Now I'm going to reserve a little of this for that fried fish just to rub the fish into that little. So test for seasoning, I need some salt, seasoning cubes, it's a stir. So I hope all the teenagers and all the young ones at home are following me. Now if you have questions, you can reach me at www.youtube.com slash Gina because this video will be there. You can also hit me up on Instagram at Gina Foodies and Spice. Ask any questions on this recipe and I will happily answer you. On Facebook, it's www.facebook.com slash Foodies Spice. I'm going to cover it now and watch it cook. Now I know what I'm looking for. Yam is soft. Yam is... Uh, now becoming mushy, it's breaking, it's melting. I'll turn it, help it break some more. That is when I know I've gotten my yam potage or yam porridge. We'll be back. Hey, Budaholic, my favorite part. Saying hello to you guys, reading your messages. I love this part. But before we just go to YouTube where I usually read messages from, let me quickly tell you about the benefits of eating fish. By now, you all know growing up that your mother will always want to give you fish or um, encourage you to eat fish. Yes, because fish is good. Yeah, some people even prefer fish to eating meat. Fish, according to, see, when you really don't know most of these things that you are eating, the best thing to do is just go to Google. Just put it on Google search. What is the health benefit of this thing? It's a Google search to show you. Okay? So, Google search benefits of fish. Uh, fish is high in important nutrients, yeah? And one of those important nutrients is vitamin D. And it's also known that most of the fishes that have um, more oil, like the oily fishes, example salmon, titles fish or mackerel, all those kind of ones, they are, they are the healthiest yeah, because of the oily fats. It's, it's called omega-3 fat, so it's actually high in omega-3 fat. And they said this omega-3 fatty acid is very important for the body to um, work optimally, yes, for the body to function optimally, you need omega-3 fat and it can help in making sure you do not contact some form of diseases, like it almost helping you, let's say, it kind of gives you some immunity, yes, so once you have um, vitamin D, um, that's omega-3 fatty acid in your body, you kind of reduce your risk of getting the disease yes so that's why fish is good for you another reason is that fish may lower your risk of heart attacks and strokes yeah and um, I also have here that fish contains nutrients that are crucial during development so from six months five months your children can start eating fish you buy them you debone it you mash them and they can eat it so and you can use fish for a lot of recipes you see we're using it for our um, porridge today you can cook them fry them steam them what else grill it do anything you like with fish really fish is good for you so let me quickly read your messages from youtube www.youtube.com slash and i'll be reading messages from our black soup yes a lot of you like the soup um i got quite a number of views on that black soup uh it's interesting because it's very easy and it's medicinal it's like a go-to soup in the village before you say jack robinson if you are feeling a deck diarrhea body they pay you anything they'll just say quickly mix and leave with these leaves or some other leaves so black soup is easy and i've got lots 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 of um comments from there i'll just read a few so i got comment from 
uh, in his image, she had thank you. He was quite excited that I read um, her message the other day. So she said, can't take my eyes off the beads, lovely. Thank you so much. Um, that, those beads, I've had them for a long time. I just saw it that day and I decided to, to wear it. Uh, Nkwa Chioji said, that soup is calling my name and I'm on my way. This is yummy, yummy. Thanks, Gina. You're always amazing. Lots of love. Thank you so much, Nkwa Chioji. I've also got message here from Eli Sun. She said, can I use dry scent, leave, dry bitter leave and dry uziza? And... I said yes. Um, even if you don't get them fresh, you can use the dry ones. All you need to do is put them into water, hydrate them, and of course, super scum. Um, yes, Bengan Esogene is excited that she was the first to comment. Thank you so much. I'm actually happy that people wait for me to post just for them to comment. I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. Maya um, Wow Lajun can say I've seen some people adding little grinded melon, egusi to black soup. What's your take on that? Is it okay? And I said yes, it's very okay. I guess when I was doing the video, I actually forgot to say that. Um, where I come from, when they make black soup, most of the time they add like a little sprinkle of grinded egusi into it. Now this also helps it um, thicken. Yeah, one of the reasons why they put it so it thickens it. It also adds some taste to it. So it's good if you find people doing it, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. I also have message here from Chim Amanda. She said all the good things you are saying about Uziza is actually for scent leaf, not for Uziza. And that is why I say do more of your research. Scent leaf is very, very good, like very beneficial, a lot of health benefits, and so is Uziza leaves as well. So probably they share almost the same kind of benefits. Maybe that's why, but it's also good as well. From Gift Andrew, she says, I love black soup. I'm on my way to eat my yummy. Thank you all so much. I enjoy all the messages. I'm truly grateful. Thank you. And I'll also encourage you to please um, get some more people to watch the videos online. Tell them about Foodies and Spice channel, okay? I'm, uh, I'll be very, very happy and grateful for that. Thank you so much. So let me go back and complete my yam porridge sausage. Yeah, I know that's what you guys will talk about next week when I post the video. If it's either yam porridge or yam sausage, I'll be happy to read from all of you. Okay, so while the yam pottage or porridge is still cooking, um, I already plucked my vegetable leaves and today I'm using pumpkin leaves, yeah. They are quite nutritious, they have that folate which is good for you. So I'll slice. So I've got this chunky slice of vegetable. Okay, this is good. Time now to add our vegetable. Like I said, that's the last thing that goes in. It stays for just like two minutes. And that two minutes is what you actually use for the stirring, and it's good. I like that sizzle. This is very good. Now allow the vegetable cook with the heat of this porridge. I'm going to turn it off now. I have a guest today. Yes, she won. Edan oil from our last uh, Mother's Day. You saw those pictures on the Mother's Day video? Yeah, I asked people to send in their pictures, their mom's pictures, and her picture made it. So we gave out some bottles of Edan oil. So she's here to pick up her own today, and she met us um, recording. So she's going to join me eat this porridge. This is good. This is beautiful, good. Food done, done. Time to eat. <laughs> I told you that I have Ikmot in the building today. She's our guest. She actually came to pick up her Mother's Day gift. Welcome, Ikmot. Thank you. Okay, so you watch me cook this day for it from start to finish. Yes. Yeah, the most important thing is this fish that we fried that I use, uh, I use flour for. Yeah. So you can say it to me, I don't get chopped. Right. And Ikmot is here with her baby. What's your baby's name? Faiza. 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 Yeah. Okay. Faiza. I want you to taste the fish. What do you think about it? Well, it's not like there is flour on it or at all. At all. It doesn't look like it. Okay, guys, it's been a wonderful show. Okay? If you missed it, www.youtube.com slash Jenna Ekodis, where you find everything that we just did. And don't forget, Ikmot is here for her Adam Oil Gift. 
come up. Thank you so much for sending in your mom's picture from Adam Oil and from Foodies and Spice. Tell mommy another happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you very much, Foodies and Spice. Adam Oil, I really appreciate it. You're and welcome. I love you, mom. And I hope to win more than this next time. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. All right. Thank you so much, if not, I appreciate you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Next week is our Easter. Yeah, our Easter recipes. So sit tight, relax, go and do the things you need to do. Come back next week, same time, same station, and let's do another wonderful Foodies and Spice Easter recipe. Love you. Mwah.